Why can't Professor Dave get views on his own? You might be wondering, who is Professor Dave and what does that have to do with me? Well, it's, it's kind of the, the culture that we live in. Everyone basically hitching their flag to other people to get glory by, uh, by I'm going to criticize this guy, I'm going to criticize that guy, so people look at me. And I, I cannot stand that. I can't stand it. And here's a guy, professor, we'll go in this a little bit deeper, but he's not a professor. He's just some guy on YouTube who, who does like the most, just sanctimonious, pompous. And I just, this is, this is who represents the science today. It's like a Fauci except on YouTube. And I just, I can't take it. I can't stand it. And we, I just wish people would say, if they're, what, if they're that arrogant, why are they going to be that arrogant as opposed to saying, oh, he must know he's talking, but he's coming across like that much of an a-hole. It's weird, man. And I just wish, you know, I guess people could accuse me of that. Okay, I don't think so, but whatever. Anyway, so I want to show you that. Here's Professor Dave. Here's a guy with um, 2.3 million subscribers. And his top four videos are about flat earth. And then he destroys Kent Hovind, young earth creationism. Look, isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? And then he goes down here. And how I came across this guy is, um, look, as all this stuff is destroying flat earth, flat earth. But I, um, I'm going to show you how I came across him. Flat, I'm like, okay. I didn't even know who he was until I came across this video. He takes on James Tor. Eh, James Tor is okay. But, uh, I mean, whatever. I, he kind of bores me, to be honest with you. I got no qualm with the guy. But then uh, he took right here, Sky, Sky Scholar debunked. And I like Sky Scholar. Big fan, long time. But then he, again, James Tor. Uh, again, more flat earth stuff. James Tor, Ken Hovind. But where he really, where I came across Professor Dave, suspicious observers as a pseudoscience doomsday cult, um, was right. He took Mike, Matt Walsh. No, I think I came across Professor Dave before Matt Walsh. Right here. He took on... Uh, Maybe it was the uh, the boys over at Suspicious Observers. Uh, sus uh, suspicious Observers. Sky Scholar debunked is not Suspicious Observers. Two different people. But I like the Suspicious Observers guys. But he took on Matt Walsh. Uh, he took on my boys over at uh, the Discovery Institute. And I'm just like, what? What is? What's going on here? Man takes on Christianity. He can't define what a man is. All I mean, all this stuff is stupid. Uh, why shouldn't they say, I mean, I, I don't care. But anyway, the point being is I said, okay, so those are just popular videos. So let's just look at recently uploaded, shall we? Oh, he uploaded this a day ago. One, 3,000 views, 5,000, 3.6,000, 3,000, 6,000, 12,000, 6,000, 5,000. I mean, Maxwell's equations, par four. I'm, I'm assuming we're talking about James Clark Maxwell and you're only getting 5,000 views. Yeah, I'm sure as we talk about. I mean, what's up with that? 9,000, 5,000. Again, James Clark Maxwell. Um, expo again, here's more exposing the, the uh, Discovery Institute, the 157,000. It's uh, set composition of oceanic crust part two, 7,000 views. Know the James, uh, the James Webb, again, know the James Webb Space Telescope did not disprove whatever it is. You see what I'm saying? It's like, uh, 160,000 views. But if he just more practice with the 18 electron rule, I mean, see what I'm saying? Unless he's debunking somebody to get no views. And I, look, I don't care about his take on the flat earth. I just, I, look, I watched one of the videos. I said, okay. Because the more people push a certain theory on me and they say it with the force that they used to on this thing and even the climate change, the, uh, the food science, this, the climate change stuff is really what got me back in the old days because they, they're no different than these guys. And then I said, you, then the pro uh, MMR, I'm not going to say more, the pro MMR people back when I started questioning that, I said, huh? Uh, because we had swine flu and all this other stuff. I said, the pro MMR people, I said, yeah. And I remember the level of vitriol and force that came my way was no different than the climate change people. It's crazy, man. I said, hold, these people are just cut from the same cloth. It's nuts. And then hearing Professor Dave debate, quote, unquote, debate this guy, um, this flat earther right here, and he got 2.8 million views. It was, 
it was embarrassing because it's these three guys against this guy. This guy's trying to be nice. And I don't, you know, whatever, man. You can be, I don't care. Call me whatever you want. I don't care. I find it interesting, though, when people are so convinced of their theory, they have to belittle and bully and shut and, and mute people. And the minute they do that, start saying, huh, because that's exactly what happened with the climate change people. I said, huh, if they have to belittle and bully and mute people, I have to, I want to look at those other people. And so I started looking at some of these things from uh, the, the flat earthers. No, I'm not. I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm agnostic. Let's put it that way. I find it interesting, and you will too, because you start looking. You start saying, "Wait a second, man. How come this? How come that?" You start diving a little bit deeper. You're like, "Oh, okay. So no one really knows for sure. You know, they can create some mathematics, but we don't really know." And I don't care. Look, I, I mean, I don't. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you call me. I don't care. I say, yeah, I'm interested. I'm always interested in people who stand and say, wait, I challenge that. I want to see why they're challenging things. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I take issue with the Einsteinian stuff. Uh, and the, we had string theory, which is going to defeat God. We had we have particle physics. We have you know, the physics as a soul, as a self. We still haven't gone more than eight miles down into the Earth's core. Uh, we, we don't know. The things that we think we know, yeah, and that's no. But this is also Christianity. Is one of the things that drives me always drive me crazy about Christianity. The Bible says you can't use that as your defense. What Bible? Well, the one I choose: King James, New International Version, Amplified Bible, Catholic Bible, you know, the 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 Protestant Bible uh, pre eighteen eighty five, which had all the other books that were thrown out after eighteen. What what Bible do you use? And there's different. Uh, variations of the Bible. You see what I'm saying? You can't just say that because the Bible says. You can't do that. And you can't just say because a textbook says. You can't. I, I don't. I know. None of that works for me. It doesn't. I have to see it and read it and understand it my own. And I don't care if you think it's crazy. Just read Ignaz Semmelweis, man. It's the same. We've had this time and time again. The people who stood against Huxley. Uh, was it Wallace? You, you see what I'm saying? I mean, these guys got uh, uh, Darwin <laughs> and Wallace is not a flat earther. That's what's funny is Wallace is on their side. I he's he's an ortho he was an orthodox guy. He actually bet against was it Robotham who uh, said uh, I can prove a, a flat earth and, and Wallace says you can't and you owe me. And it was as interesting as could be. Why would you shut your mind to this stuff? So same with Robotham said I can prove a flat earth. I'll bet you on it. And some guy was. Who said, "Yeah, I'll I'll, um, I'll support his take of flat Earth." And then Wallace, the guy who actually w w founded the theory behind evolution, who's a devout Christian, by the way, before uh, what's his name did Darwin. In fact, there's lots of evidence that says Darwin snaked him. You know what I'm saying? It happens all the time in science. It's crazy. Where do you think Einstein got e equals mc squared? You think he came up with it on his own? No, no, absolutely. He stole it from an Italian guy. He said, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Don't look in the research. Don't look in the history of Einstein. You're not going to like what you find. It's just not. But if you're of interest in things, how the world works, you can't help but look at the people. I get it. It's okay. I mean, if you're over the target, you are going to take shrapnel. That's all there is to it. But I just find it funny that Professor Dave can't get views unless he's bashing other people. And, uh, you know, on occasion I'll do that with like Dave. I don't. I haven't done it for a while. I I, I, I don't do that. Like I'll challenge Dave Ramsey, and that's punching up on things. I, I I was doing that for a little bit, and I kind of I remember a guy said, "Why are you so focused on Dave?" And I had like two videos, with three videos, maybe back to back to back. It was a couple of years ago. So a guy said, "Why are you so in challenging? What, what's what's your tip? Why?" I said, yeah, I said, I don't want to come across. Like, I didn't want to be the Professor Dave. I want to build my platform on my own. It's not my platform, my audience on my own, with just thoughts in my head. And um, I get all the time, well, you should have more viewers. Well, a lot of viewers are turned off because I question things. And they'll say, I don't want to hear that, Dave, Josh. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear that. I'm not going to watch it. You're crazy or, you know, whatever. And I get it, man. This whole video YouTube channel and Rumble channel are my... 
is, is my take on life as I see, as it kind of evolves, if that makes sense. And the guy I am now is not the same guy I was five years ago. It's just not, man. The guy I was five years ago was not the same guy I was five years previous to that. It just wasn't. And uh, the, the evolution of human beings in terms of their brain function, the way they see the world is very interesting. And so I see a guy like Professor Dave, who just, again, not a professor, just shuts people up because they don't agree with the orthodox. I want to go and find out what the other people are talking about. And I don't agree with it at all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, but I, I find it of interest. If everyone is going to the left, let me show you something here. Let me show you. You know, you want to be this guy. This is a minor threat, an old hardcore band from D.C., you don't, you want to be this, the black sheep, you know, that doesn't mean to be a black sheep, like you're a bad guy, but you know, you don't want to be just fault. You want to be this guy. This guy right here is what you want. Here, be that guy. Everyone else is saluting to Hitler. That guy says, I'm not going to salute. Be this guy. Be this guy. Luz Long. Who lost to Jesse Owens. In the 1936 Olympics, and then walked around the stadium with him, arm in arm. Freaking great story, dude. With Hitler looking on. Sadly, Luke Luz Long was sent to the. I think he died in the uh, airplane in World War II because I'm sure they Hitler didn't hold kindly to old Luz Long. Be that guy, which means sometimes you have to stand up when people call your name and stuff and say, I don't care. I'm going to look at other things other than what you are telling me just because the majority or the consensus believes it. I could care two craps about your consensus. All right. Merry Christmas. Christmas Eve, dudes. Get out there and hug somebody. It's a good time to be alive. God is good always. We'll see you.